Hey everybody, Joe Moffat here with Master Life by Design, coming at you live from Team Moffat Casa. And I wanted to take today, this video was about making a video from a post that I created earlier today, and it was, you know, who should pay for the first date? And I will tell you, we got a ton of likes. We got over 130 comments, people going back and forth, sharing their opinions. And what was beautiful about it was, you know, pe actually people started to get into it a little bit, right? Back and forth, you know, sexist comments and whatnot. But <clears throat> I said I would make a video on my perspective and what I've seen and what really I believe is uh, the truth. And you could take it as you see fit. You can take it and run with it. You could grab some of the information, what you love, and take that and work with it. Or, you know, I call it the sand theory where you can let the sand just run through your fingers for the stuff that you don't enjoy. But this video is about you finding out who should pay for the first date. And I'll give you my own experience with my wife around what we've done and what we do. Okay, so first and foremost, we got to look at what beliefs are you operating from? Are the beliefs your parents? Are your beliefs from society or are they really your beliefs, right? We want to look at which beliefs because here's what I found. If they're coaching hundreds of people, thousands of people, that we take on others' belief systems and especially at a young age and we don't even consciously make a choice whether we believe that or not. And so I always ask that you go inward and see what feels right to your heart and tune into that heart space and not so much your head. <coughs> Excuse me. So we want to look at are the beliefs that you currently hold even yours? If not, if they're from your parents, then we want to start to look at creating belief systems that will support you. Okay? So I have some notes, so I'm going to kind of be focusing on you and tapping into some of my notes. So, so there's a lot of people out there that say a man should pay, right? We got a lot of comments. Absolutely, a man should pay, and that's it. There's women who are saying, I pay, you know, that's it, or I should offer. Here's my take. You know, if a man should pay, if the women or the guys are on there saying, but mainly women, if the women say that you should pay no matter what, like that's just the thing to do, and you're setting those terms, does the guy have a right to set the terms in how you guys have sex and the term, sex terms? Do they get the opinion to do that? Because you're saying it must be like this, right? Um, let me just see what else. Uh, oh, and here's the thing. When the women say that, you know, hey, you must pay, you know, basically what I'm hearing, what my intuitive ear hears is that you have to pay for me to be here. Like, I'm not going to give you my time unless it's something that I get in return from it. So, the, what's the balance, right? First, we want to understand, are we coming from an expectation, ladies, versus this is a gift and coming from appreciation? Because I'll tell you what, I've been on dates before where, you know, it was an expectation and that rubbed me the wrong way. And then I had dates where it was just absolutely an appreciation from the bottom of their heart. And what that did for me, it didn't turn, the first one turned me off, the second one turned me on, right? There's a difference, so, yes, here's my belief, and a lot of people hit on this. The man should pay, right? That's my belief. You know, I grew up old school, but then I've also consciously made the decision that the man should pay on the first date. Why? Because he offered to take her out, right? But, here's the but. Women should offer to pay at least their portion of the bill, or pay something of the bill, right? <clears throat> I'll, I'll get the questions in a little bit. So the man should pay for the woman. However, the woman should offer to take a, a portion of the bill, a tip, her half, or even the entire bill, right? So that's what I believe because here's what it's saying. It's saying that I want to add to this relationship if I feel like it's going to go any further, right? So it's the woman actually unconsciously delivering that message to the man and so when the man feels or a man feels like a woman is a team player that brings out that masculine side of him it makes it helps him allow it actually allows him at that point to make a decision he can either accept your offering or 
turn it down and say, no, I wanted to take you out. This is why I wanted to offer this to you and have an experience with you, right? Um, so it's the man's decision. And plus, at the same time, when the man does that, it allows him to step into his masculinity and let's be honest, ladies, we all, well, we, you, I know you ladies love when a man is decisive, when he makes a decision, when he steps into that masculine energy and he owns it, I know that turns you on, but you got to set him up for that. If you're just expecting that's going to turn him off and, or it's going to signal to him that this is only going to be about getting laid, right? This relationship and so you can agree with this or not, and I get there's some rare circumstances out there, but I'm telling you from the patterns I've seen throughout life and studies that this is what I've seen. Now, if you know he, t- if you're someone, a lady that you get a, you get to go out to a, you know, a five star restaurant, and the bill's five hundred dollars, and you know you only make two grand a month, and you got your bills, you know the proportion in which you actually can pay is a little bit different than what he can pay, right? So you might offer a portion of that. To be fair, again, the whole point is for the woman to offer to pay because the man wants to feel like he has a teammate or a team player right there. Um, And so the next thing I put in my notes is we just want to know that there's going to be effort on your behalf, that you're a team player. Because if he respects himself, He's going to say, you know what? I want a woman who puts an effort into this relationship, not just in, um, you know, in the finances, but in all areas, right? Because we've all heard before, if what we do, how we do one thing is how we do everything, right? And so if you're not even going to offer a, a portion, then that's saying, you know, in other areas of the relationship, time, the kids, you know, what are you going to, you know, are you going to put your share in? Or do I have to bear all the weight? And that puts a lot of weight on men, right? And so, look, if we're expected to pay the bills, take care of the family, take care of the house, the kids, right? Look, no one wants to do that. And that's where I think of relationships about a team effort. It's a relationships about giving, right? And so it comes at a team price. So what this all really does i had right here is it makes chivalry come alive within a man it makes it arise within a man and what woman nowadays would want a rare commodity because let's be honest men there's a few of you out there that are just total rock stars and you do this well and you do it great you know i religiously open the door for my wife every single time we get into the car it's been almost three years and i do it every time and I give her a kiss. <clears throat> chivalry is not dead. Chivalry doesn't have enough examples. So men out there watching this video, will you step up and be an example of a man that shows chivalry to a woman? Now, I get it. When you go out on a first date, you know, you're not really sure what to expect. You're just getting to know each other. But here's the deal. Are you operating by principles or are you just operating by emotions? See, emotions can take you up and down. And so based on what emotional ride you're on determines in that moment whether you pay or you're going to move forward or if you if you don't pay and ask her for half, right? So we want to make sure that we're operating by principles. Here's the deal. I'll share this with you. <clears throat> My wife and I, the very first time we went out, I, I actually flew my wife down to San Diego. We got to know each other on the phone, but I flew her down to San Diego. I paid for the plane ticket here. She paid for her t- plane ticket back. When we went out to dinner, after she got here the first time, we went out to dinner. The bill came. I took it. And she offered to pay at least her portion. And to me right there, what that spoke to me was that she's a team player. That she wants to be in this relationship as equals, right? Where we both are contributing to this relationship. Although I didn't let her pay... I really did appreciate that and I knew this was a woman that I needed to spend more time with and keep in my back pocket, right? I I wanted to be with her. I wanted to, you know, not only was she beautiful, but her mindset was beautiful and she had the psychology of us being a team player. So honestly, that's part of it. Like that's a reason, one of millions of reasons why I married her, but I did, I, I know that every time we go somewhere, whether it's our bills, 
whether it's going out to dinner, going on a trip, right? She always pays her half of the bill, right? We split things. We have our own income and we have our own bills, but she offers to pay. And there's times where I just say, you know what, babe? I got this. This is my treat. Again, it's a gift. And that's where I get to see her appreciation come out. I get to see her love uh, come out. I get to see her light up, which is an extra gift because I know it's coming from a place of appreciation and not of expectation. Ladies, if you're coming at it from a place of expectation, we need to shift the way you're looking at this now because here's the deal. If you're showing up expecting the man to pay every time, here's my guess. You're still single. And that might be a freaking clue. Now, you can agree with me or you don't. And that's fine. You know, I'm here to serve. I want to serve. I have an amazing marriage with my wife and it works, right? But what's it going to be for you? How are you going to, right? Um, Because I've been with girls who, I've dated women who I was expected to pay, who got into a relationship. And to be honest, you know, it kept me broke. All these. My alarm went off. Um, all these things that I wanted to do for them, it added up, right? And I live in San Diego, so it's even more money out here. But so I had to start finding women that appreciated versus coming from a place of expectation. So that's my take. And you know what? There's a great video out there. Some of you posted on the thread from Matt Hussey. I watch him. I align with him. I really dig where he's coming from. Um, I buy into his psychology and some of this. And so, you know, again, take what's right to you. But my beliefs are the man should pay, but the woman should definitely offer, right? If she doesn't offer, then that's someone that I know probably won't offer in the future for us to, you know, to take things on as a team, whether it's our kids, whether it's finances, whether it's, you know, uh, date nights or whatever it might be. So that's what I would say. If you guys are just tuning in, I encourage you guys to go back to the beginning and listen to this after I finish up and uh, post this because it's powerful. Share this with everyone that you think could serve, uh, would serve and would make a difference in their life, especially if they're single right? or if they're looking to rejuvenate the, re- uh, the relationship. So those are my things. So let me just see what some of the comments are here. Um, anyone who wa- Griffin said, anyone who wants equality needs to live with what needs to live with what that means, right? So I'm guessing what you mean is live by your word. Um, Sean said, whoever gives the uh, shout, whoever gives the shout, cash- cashes out. Okay, got it. Gina, how do you say I'll pay 25 percent or X percent when I was dating? Because when I was dating, I didn't want finances 50-50 because it made me feel like a friend. Past relationships triggered triggers, though there were roommates and not we were roommates and not lovers. Um, If I understand you correctly, Gina, um, you know, direct communication is the best way. I would say just being direct with what you want to offer, right, and how things should be. We talked about me and my wife talked about it from day one, what we wanted to do and what we needed to do with our finances, and so that made a big, big, big distinction for us. So, um, you know, again, talk to your partner, and if you feel like a roommate. You might feel like a roommate because of expectations. So one of the things that I would encourage you to do is start looking at your psychology. Is it a roommate or are you a teammate? That's a big distinction for you. Okay, so are you a teammate or are you a roommate? When you start to shift from roommate to teammate, the game changes, right? Justin, hello, my friend. Big shout out to you. Awesome. Um, Christina threw that out to Gina too. Uh, Justin keeps throwing some good things out, always offered, but they, uh, but if Gina said, I always offered, but I accepted on the first date, it was like, womp, womp. (laughs) So again, if you're expecting the man to pay versus, you know, offering and then coming from a place of appreciation, all of a sudden it's a game changer. So with that being said, if you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to reach out. Christina saying hello. She was annoying the whole video in the background. <laughs> but I love her and that's what I love her quirkiness. 
But look at what you guys are doing. Look at where you're coming from, ladies. Men, make sure that you're being respectful. Bring chivalry back or allow it to breathe life again. Allow it to be that aroma that's in the air for men and women when they date and everything like that. So we have a responsibility to pay when it comes to dating as men. Women, you have a responsibility too. This is an equal process. This is a teammate, not a roommate right, or friendship. So if you guys are tuning in, please go back to the beginning. Watch this from the beginning. I think it'll add a massive value to her or to you guys. Um, Griffin said, I mean, I hear a lot of women say that they want to feel equal, yet they say things like men should uh, always pay. Times have changed. Men shouldn't pay the first time, but women should pay for the future stuff and men should let them. Again, I think there's this balance, this integration between the two. So men should pay. But the women should offer. And as you evolve in the relationship, you communicate clearly on establishing what's going to happen around the financial piece, right? Because again, we want to see are we having a teammate, okay? So, with that being said, go back, watch the beginning. If you like this, please share it with others, share it with friends, family, people who could use this as support and a tool for them moving forward. Tune in to our YouTube page at Master Life by Design, our Instagram and Facebook page at Master Life by Design. Here's what I will share with you guys. You all deserve love. If you already are in a marriage, you deserve to have passionate ecstasy love, right? If you're looking to become in a relationship, use some of these principles because look, it's not a matter of are you good enough? You are more than good enough. People, everyone on this planet deserves to be with someone. With that being said, you deserve to be with someone. You just got to start operating from a new psychology, new principles, new strategies. So with that, I hope you guys have a great evening. Please share this if you found value in it. We love you guys. Christina and I, Joe Moffat, Master Life by Design. Make today count. See you guys.